Welcome to the Lynx Secure Digital Evidence Management software application. Lynx is designed to save you time, money, and resources when managing your digital media. Lynx is customizable and scalable. So when uploading and tagging your digital evidence, you are always getting the right information you need on your images, video, and audio files. This lets you retrieve, view, and securely share and link selected, types, or all media to just about any other software your agency uses to manage cases such as RMS applications, internal communications, sharing with district attorneys and investigative partners, and so on. Different divisions may need unique fields when tagging media for different types of cases, such as accidents, breaking and entering, homicide, and so on. Your agency can create templates to pre-populate new cases with your own custom labeling and tags. This makes creating new cases fast, simple, and easy. Simply enter the case name, and then you'll notice all of your custom pre-populated information automatically comes up. Now that we've got our new case, we can grab media from any location. It could be a camera, local, removable, or network drive. Basically any location that your PC, laptop, tablet, Macintosh, or any other location that the device has access to. Select the images, video, audio files, or PDF documents that you wish to upload and tag. And now you can give it a caption, any additional notes, and then also whatever custom search fields that you've set up. So in this case, I'll put what investigators were working on this case, the location, and I'm ready to go. Now we'll see all of the photographs, audio, and video files. We can select all or deselect all, if we've got rights, we can print or save a local copy. We can very quickly and easily search through these images, and we can open them right up into the photo viewer. In the photo viewer, you'll see the original date and time the photo was taken, the photographer, whatever notes, and then down below the custom search fields that we added when we uploaded these images. We can go back and forth through our images. We can rotate our images. We can zoom in and zoom out on our images. We can also view our images in full screen mode. Language. Video files load, we can mute, we can raise and adjust the volume, we can fast forward, rewind, and we can also view in full screen mode. The same goes for audio files. We can play it, we can fast forward it, rewind, adjust the volume, and so on. If your device takes GPS coordinates, you can also view those images on a map. Each pen represents a photograph. Click on the pen to view the photo for that location. Go right back to the map, click on another pen. You can view it in standard map mode or satellite view and then go right on back to your thumbnail browser. In addition to the GPS coordinates and the ability to show images on a map while you're viewing images, in addition to all of the custom information that you're putting on them, we also grab any and all metadata coming directly from the camera or device so that you know exactly what camera, make, model, GPS coordinates, any EXIF or metadata that your device provides, we're going to capture and bring in along with that image, video, or audio file. In addition to that, each piece of media also contains an audit trail so that you know who's acquired it, who's printed it, viewed it, so you have a complete chain of custody of your evidence from the time it's acquired into the system through the duration. Another advantage of the Lynx photo management software product is it allows you to very quickly and easily organize your agency into divisions. That way you can quickly assign what divisions have access to what projects, and even if they have access to certain projects, what rights are available to them. So it's a very easy, simple way to segregate who has access to which types of cases, and even if they have access, what features or functionality will be available to them. In addition to that, you may find certain instances where even if you give access to images on a specific case, you may also want certain images to be private. So anyone with privileges or an administrator can select whatever images these are 
and select them as private. So now you'll see a padlock at the bottom and users without this functionality or users who are viewing these via hyperlinks will not see the private photos. Only the public ones will be available. Another method that you may choose is the plan view. The plan view allows you to upload crime scene sketches, maps, aerial photos, and then you can strategically place location markers so that you can file images to specific locations. So down at the bottom I want to take these accident photos right here and I want to file them right here to vehicle 2. So I simply select that location and file. Now I'll select the remaining two accident photos and file them to the vehicle 1 location. If I move on down to a sketch or a crime scene CAD rendering I can also file images this way. So I'll select the evidence that was taken at this location, file it there, and I'll take the remaining images and file them to the secondary location. Now if I wish to view images for a specific location on either a map, drawing, or rendering, I just pick the location, view the images, and up come all of the photos that I've filed to that particular location. Where now of course they can be viewed, and again if rights are granted, printed, saved, and so on. So as you can see, this zero footprint application allows you to give access to only those authorized investigators or officers that need to have access. You get to decide and choose who can create cases, who can edit case information, who can file the cases, and then it makes it very simple and easy later to go search throughout your cases and create links that you can then share with other investigative partners internally or externally. So if I want to see just the private property images for case 123, I just select that pre-saved query and run it. So now it's filtering the images to only the private property images within this particular case. I can also share the entire case if I'd like with the district attorney through what we call a case or project link. So here I select it and if they open it up, that'll bring it up into a new browser. And here you'll notice they're looking at all of the images Another important factor to keep in mind when you're sharing images via these hyperlinks that we talked about here is that images that you share via a hyperlink, when the recipient views them, they are view only. They are not able to edit these images or modify these images in any way. Whereas those users that are inside the system that are logging into the web application, they do have the ability to edit captions, notes, search fields. So if they've got privileges, they've got all of the functionality available. And again, those that are viewing the images that are shared to them via a hyperlink in an RMS system, or if you're sharing with a district attorney, they've got access then to view and look at the photographs, but they don't have any access to be able to edit or modify or change anything. Users with rights and access that are creating links and sharing them can also come in, select any link, whether it be a dynamic, static, or case link. They can delete that hyperlink so they're no longer accessible. That way anyone that has the hyperlink when they click on it will see no photos available. Also, if privileges are granted or if you create a public relations case where you want to share images with the public, it's very simple and easy to integrate into either social media or you can directly email links right through the program. So again, you would have to have privileges. This would have to be set up. But if I wanted to email this public safety case right here, I would simply select it, click on the email icon. That'll then launch my email application, which happens to be Outlook. I just put in the recipient and send. And then as we've discussed earlier, whoever is receiving this doesn't need to download anything. There's no file attachments. They don't have to install anything. They would just check their email, click on the hyperlink, and up would come those case photos for public safety sample case here. You can also force authentication, whereas they would have to type in a username and password for this to be able to be accessed or be able to be viewed. So hyperlinks, if needed, are an easy way to link or embed images into case reports, RMS systems, or share with other users internally or externally if permissions are granted so that you don't have to create them as links users and put them as part of your main media evidence management system with inside the links application here. So I hope this gives you a brief overview of the Links Secure Digital Evidence Management software application.
Because the application is so flexible and customizable, it's easily able to be used by both small and large agencies to fit their exact needs when it comes to managing, finding, retrieving, storing, archiving all of their digital evidence. We've got large agencies like LAPD that use us, and we've also got smaller agencies like County of Onondaga that use us. If you have any questions or if you'd like an online demonstration, don't hesitate to contact us at 877-955-7711, extension 0 for sales, and extension 2 for technical support. You can also visit our website at www.linksphotomanager.com, and at the bottom of the page you'll see our law enforcement hyperlink. This will take you to our public safety section where you can watch video demonstrations, look at our frequently asked questions, see comments from existing users, and find out a little bit more about us here at Lynx PM. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.